NVIDIA already lost $600 billion in market value, and it may lose even more after this new AI chip was unveiled. The AI hardware race just took a dramatic turn, shaking up the entire industry. The reason? A new AI chip that's 57 times faster than NVIDIA's GPUs. If you thought GPUs were the backbone of AI, this breakthrough might change everything. At the center of this disruption is Cerebras Systems, the company behind the world's largest AI processor. Their wafer-scale chip just ran DeepSeq R1, China's latest AI model at 1,600 tokens per second, far beyond what NVIDIA's best GPUs can achieve. This isn't just a small performance gain, it's a complete redefinition of AI computing. With this new architecture, GPUs might no longer be the best option for powering artificial intelligence. But what exactly is DeepSeq R1? And how did Cerebrus manage to outperform NVIDIA so massively? Let's break it all down. For years, AI models have focused on text, image, and code generation. But DeepSeq R1 is different. It's built for reasoning. Instead of just predicting words like ChatGPT or Gemini, it solves multi-step logical tasks, analyzes data, and provides deeper insights. This could transform industries like research, corporate decision-making, and AI-driven automation. But DeepSeek's most shocking feature? Its efficiency. Reports claim it operates at just 1% of the cost of US competitors, a game-changer in AI economics. While OpenAI and Google spend billions training their models, DeepSeek achieves similar results for a fraction of the price. That's why it's gaining attention. But there's a catch. DeepSeek is developed in China, meaning any company using its API sends data directly to Chinese servers. With growing concerns over data security and government regulations, this has made many businesses hesitant to adopt it. This is where Cerebrus Systems comes in. Their breakthrough allows DeepSeek R1 to run entirely on US soil, keeping sensitive data within American borders while unlocking unmatched AI speed and efficiency. But how did they pull this off? The answer lies in Cerebras's revolutionary AI chip, something fundamentally different from NVIDIA's GPUs. For decades, GPUs have dominated AI computing, powering everything from ChatGPT to Tesla's self-driving cars. But there's a problem. GPUs weren't originally built for AI. They were designed for graphics rendering, and while they've been repurposed for AI workloads, they struggle with memory bottlenecks and slow data transfers. As AI models grow more complex, these limitations are becoming impossible to ignore. Cerebras solved this problem by creating the world's first wafer-scale AI processor. Unlike GPUs, which rely on clusters of smaller chips, this massive single-chip system eliminates inefficiencies, allowing AI models to run seamlessly on a single processor. The result? A staggering 57x increase in AI processing speed. When running DeepSeq R1, Cerebrus's chip processes 1,600 tokens per second, compared to just 28 tokens per second on NVIDIA's GPUs. That's not just an improvement, it's a revolution. For years, NVIDIA has been the undisputed leader in AI hardware. Their GPUs power everything from AI research to robotics, making them the most valuable semiconductor company in the world. But the combination of DeepSeq R1's performance and Cerebra's wafer-scale technology has shaken investor confidence in NVIDIA's dominance. As reports surfaced that DeepSeq was outperforming OpenAI and Google's AI models, investors realized that GPUs might not be the best option for AI anymore. The market reacted instantly. NVIDIA's stock took a historic plunge, wiping out $600 billion in value. This is the biggest loss in NVIDIA's history and a major signal that the AI industry is shifting. For years, NVIDIA assumed GPUs were the only viable option for AI workloads. But now, companies like Cerebras are proving that dedicated AI processors are faster, cheaper, and more efficient. If NVIDIA doesn't pivot quickly, it risks losing its stronghold on the AI market. For decades, AI development revolved around GPUs. Companies poured billions into NVIDIA chips, believing they were the only way to train and run AI models. But now, specialized AI chips are proving to be a better alternative. 
Cerebras just showed that dedicated AI processors outperform GPUs in every key area – speed, cost, and efficiency. And they're not the only ones. Tech giants like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft are also moving away from NVIDIA's ecosystem. Google has TPUs, tensor processing units, built specifically for machine learning. Amazon developed Trainium and Inferentia AI chips to optimize cloud-based AI. Microsoft created Maya AI chips to power its growing AI ecosystem. The message is clear, AI is shifting towards specialized hardware. If AI companies stop relying on GPUs, NVIDIA could lose its biggest market. While they still dominate AI training, inference, the process of actually running AI models in real time, is moving towards faster and cheaper alternatives. In just a few years, companies like Cerebras, Grok, and other AI chip startups have leapfrogged NVIDIA in performance. If NVIDIA doesn't innovate fast, it risks being left behind. So, can they develop a competing AI-specific chip before these newer companies take over? That's the billion-dollar question. For years, GPUs powered the AI revolution, driving advancements in language models, automation, and self-driving cars. But now, we're witnessing a major shift. With AI development accelerating, who controls the hardware will determine who controls the future of AI. The US-China AI race is heating up, and data sovereignty is becoming a key issue. Companies and governments are making security, infrastructure, and AI dominance top priorities. The future of AI isn't just about faster models, it's about who owns the infrastructure and controls the data. NVIDIA may still be the king of GPUs, but as specialized AI processors take over, we may be looking at the beginning of the end for GPU-based AI computing. So, what do you think? Are we witnessing the fall of NVIDIA, or will they fight back? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe to AI Decoded, and check out our next video for more AI breakthroughs.